Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on ILO. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so as I said, this video is gonna be specifically focused on ILO. ILO stands for Integrated Lights Out. The uh, version that you're gonna get for the Gen 10 server is gonna be ILO 5. And what ILO essentially is, is the ability to remote into your server from a far away place. And what we're gonna do in this video is going to show you how to upgrade from standard to advanced, which are the two types of licenses, which are standard and advanced, and advanced is really what you want to have. So what we're going to do is show you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to do that upgrade. And also, if you need to get a license, uh, you can reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com, that's sales at cloudninjas.com, and we can help you out with getting a license. So let's get going. Hey, I hope everybody's doing well. This has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your ILO. So before we get started, there's a couple things that we got to cover first. First thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need an ILO update file. This is something that you can purchase directly from us. So go ahead and email us at sales at Cloud Ninjas and we can go ahead and hook you up. The second thing we're gonna need is a laptop or desktop that is connected to the same network as our server. We're gonna go ahead and use this device to access the ILO web interface so we can log in and then do our ILO update, which that brings us to our first step which is to open up any web browser of your choice and to search the IP address of the ILO. Doing so will automatically bring us to the ILO web interface login screen. The server we are using has the default login credentials. The default username for your system will be administrator. And if you need the default password of your system, it is going to be located on the label on the server itself. Once we've typed in our credentials, we can click on login. And once we're logged in, we want to go on to the left hand side of the screen and click on firmware and OS software. Now go to the right hand side of the screen and click on update firmware. A menu will pop up with a couple of options to change. We can go ahead and leave the file location at local file. And then where it says choose file, we want to click on that. The file explorer will appear so we can go ahead and just select our update file and once the file is selected we can click on flash. A dialog box will appear saying that this update will cause the ILO to reboot so we can just press on OK and at the top of the screen we can see a progress bar. This will take a bit of time so we'll go ahead and fast forward and pick back up once it's done. Once it is 100% complete, you will see that the top part of the screen will turn green. We're just gonna wait a few seconds and then we'll be redirected to the login page for the ILO. Now, once we're back on the login page, we're gonna go ahead and wait a minute or two while the ILO resets. And once it is done, the gray box under the login button will disappear. And then we will get a message at the top of the screen saying that the ILO firmware version has changed and to clear our browser cache before continuing. We're going to go ahead and log back into the ILO. And as we can see, everything has been successfully updated. And that's how you do it. That's how you successfully update your ILO. If you had any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you're looking at purchasing an HP server for your home lab or data center, we got plenty of options to choose from. So hit us up at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Bye.